this is literally the equivalent of that. Hello everyone, welcome back to Below Par, myself Joe Lavery. So today you join me on a video that I'm extremely passionate about, I know Joe's extremely passionate about. Basically this is a video, um, we did a reaction video before from our Instagram pages on our followers golf bags. Now a couple of people had ratings of one and you'll probably see, I'll probably put the clip in the intro, you'll see why the woods for example do not go in the bottom, the wedges don't go at the top and we'll explain that a little bit later on. What we're going to do though is I'm going to run you through how to actually set up an entire golf bag. So we'll go through what each pocket is actually for and then we'll go about setting it up so that you've got all your clubs in the right place and then you understand how your golf bag works. So I know for a few of you that play golf regularly this might seem really basics for others it's going to be really helpful. So guys if you do enjoy the video please do make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like as well and leave us a comment down below. It really does help us grow the channel. I mean, we're on 830 something subscribers as I make this at the moment. We're finding we are growing, but obviously the quicker we can grow, the more we can kind of help you guys out with things that you want to see and we want to build a bit of community as well. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I've tried to make this as easy as possible. I've got a pretty normal four way stand bag. So you've got a big pocket at the bottom, two in the middle, one at the top. Now I know with carry bags, you do sometimes get the five where they're split at the bottom. I'll explain how that will work as well. But obviously the whole idea in this bag is clubs in the bottom, two sets here and one set in the top. Now to give you an idea, it's nice when bags are empty. I mean, this one's relatively empty now. Just have a little feel around of the handles. So to load it in the car, you've got the top handle. You also then have a grab handle at the bottom as well to allow you to carry the bag like so. And you've got a handle then also for when you just need to pick the bag up and obviously your two straps as well. I can't stress enough, if your bag feels heavy, go through it to make sure there's no rubbish in it, but also make sure your straps are adjusted well. I see far too many people with the bag sort of resting on their bum, you'd like to see it just above, sort of around the lower back, and that'll make a huge difference. So let's get into putting some clubs in, and then we'll go through the pockets. So let's start with clubs then. So I've put uh, woods, putter, irons, then wedges and then an umbrella and we'll go through why I put an umbrella it's handy just to know exactly where it goes I see so many people putting an umbrella in this part of the bag and it scratches all the shafts and just makes them not look as pretty but also can actually damage it as well so let's kind of get into it so let's start with the woods so um, for me woods always always in the top so I'm going to start with driver I've got my three wood and my hybrid and they all sit there nicely in the top for me now also, I like to see the putter in that top section. See from there, woods nicely in the top of the golf bag, like so. From there now, I've split my irons into two sets. So I go up to a four iron. So I've got four, five, and six. Four, five, and six now for me. So they're in order. Four, five, six, go in. That one there. From there then, I have, you probably guessed it, seven, eight, nine. 789 again in order, run in, and the one next to it. So now it's really easy now for me to find my club. And not just that, I've got this really nice ascending order from uh, right to left, which I just think looks really nice. And you could do the same with the woods if you wanted. Not too, not too bothered about the way they sit, but as long as they're in that top pocket, I'm happy. From now then, now I've got a bit of a choice. So this is where having that split bottom pocket for me worked really well and I haven't got that on this bag. When it's split, I carry four wedges, I can put two in each, so what I'd have is pitching wedge and 50 and I'd have 54, 58 on, on, on the right hand side. Obviously I don't have that option, so all I'm going to do is just put them in in that order, but understand that they're probably going to move around when I'm carrying it. But pitching wedge, 50, 54 and 58 or in there like so. Now the reason why I hate having the woods in at the bottom is the shafts get really badly damaged sometimes by these irons here, but also it just doesn't sit very well when it's actually on your back. It sits too low. This is going to allow the bag to sit a little bit more up, a little bit more angled, but be balanced. So this is definitely the right around to have it. Please make a note of that. So you've got wedges in at the bottom, 987, 654, and then putter, hybrid, three with driver. Just a really nice clear setup 
makes it really easy then for you to navigate through your clubs and find them with ease. So I just want to give you a real quick close up then on this point. So this is what I'm saying, wedges there you see are in the bottom. We've got 987, 654, and then we've got all the woods in the top and putter as well. You can see it just makes it really easy to navigate through the club. It's really easy to find if I have a wedge, I know it's in the bottom, irons are there. Just super easy. I like all the head covers being at the top. I just think it looks smart. So what we'll do now, let's get into the accessories on the bag and then we'll get into the pockets. Okay, so accessories on the golf bag. This is something uh, that again, I see a lot of people getting wrong and it, you, you can kind of tell, they start keeping you know, bushels in pockets, uh, you start seeing drinks in big pockets. It just doesn't work. The bag's designed this way for a reason. It's going to give you optimal space. Sitting in a small carry bag like so, you really need to make the most of that space. So we do have an umbrella holder on this, which a lot of bags do. The problem is we're putting umbrellas down there. I'm going to make that so tight, but also I'm going to start scratching it. So what we have, we have this little loop here. And all we're going to do is thread the umbrella through that loop. It's going to run down the bag. And then down the bottom here, you can see there's a little tag. All you need to do is run that all the way down. It then clips into that little tag there, like so. And then just a very simple tightening of this loop there now holds that in really securely. So that's how the umbrella goes in. Please don't put it in here. You will damage your shaft. Certainly if you've got graphite irons, you're going to find you're really going to damage your, damage your club. So do just feel as if you, you know, a lot of bags have it. I know on some trolley bags, they're not very well designed and they're tucked in around the trolley. But if you can get away with putting an umbrella through the loop, please do it. So we've got the kind of normal accessories you'd expect to see. So I've got my range finder, I've got a towel and I've got a cleaning brush. Now for me, I like to keep the towel and the cleaning brush together. I just think it's useful to know exactly where they are. Luckily, this bag has a nice little hook. A lot of the ones have little metal hooks. This one's just made of the same material as the bag. All I'm going to do is clip that on like so. And it's as easy as that to fit in. If you're not happy with it dangling on the floor, you can always put it through the irons like so. That's sometimes a nice way of doing it. Certainly, if you don't want your irons to clang together, rather than buying iron head covers, just sit them between the gaps there. They now won't really move in this section and those won't move either. So that's something you can do. I'm not too worried, so I just let it dangle. The second thing then is just the bushnell or range finder, whatever it is you're using. That for me again just clips in that same section like so. And that's it. That now is connected on my bag. Always know where it is. Get used to that habit being on that side. Uh, and then clean clubs after. Easy. So now we get into pockets. So this bag has four pockets overall. You've got side pocket, top pocket, big one, and then the little zippy one here. Now the amount of people I see that carry balls and things in that right hand or, or the sort of left hand pocket here, it's not quite, it just it isn't the right place to put it. You're gonna find your bag is gonna feel quite heavy, a little bit off balance. I like to kind of put things on top. So the way we would do it is I would grab the golf balls and I put balls in this pocket here on the top. So golf balls, I've got things like gloves, they go in there, old scorecards, got a wet weather glove, now inside this bag, how are you going to see that? I have also got a little area here. I use that for ball markers. So I've got a load of ball markers in there. So they're always really easy to find. There's nothing worse than going up to your tea, uh, tea time, not being able to find a, a ball marker by the first green. Then you've got to ask somebody for a coin if you haven't got your wallet on you. So it just all looks a bit messy. So I like to have them in there. And then Sharpies, those sorts of things, I put them in there as well so I can mark everything. But yeah, so for me, balls in there, glove, card really easy to find and I can find all of those on the first tee. What I like to do, I like to keep the teas separate so for me I'm putting teas in here at the moment, teas and snacks really. It, does, it means that I'm not kind of looking through my golf balls, teas just go in there and then chocolate bar, whatever you snack on during the round, goes like so. I like to keep my drinks close to my snacks so I have drinks pocket here and that's lots in there. I try to avoid putting drinks in the big pocket. So what I find is by putting drinks in the big pocket, I've had it before where these sort of bottles have leaked, go straight through all the stuff, makes everything wet. If you've got a change of jumper or waterproof in there, the worst thing you want is it's raining outside. You've got to put a jacket on so nice and dry and your, your drinks leaked all the way through. So just put it on the outside, just makes it just a little bit easier. The larger pockets, 
So the large pocket then here, I put things like waterproof, uh, waterproofs in there, jumpers. I also put valuables. So for me, I put valuables in there as in, I put them in this little pouch. For those of you who don't have a little pouch, this is quite a good option. So you then do have a valuables pouch there. Put things like sun cream, hand sanitizer, obviously then it's going at the moment, um, some tablets and then um, some tissues as well. Just means that I'm prepared, it's easy to find. I'm not scrambling through there when that's full. I mean, if you put a set of waterproofs in there, there's not much room. So I do need a little pocket just to store those. And that's that, and I just put the valuables in on top. My justification for that is this bag in particular doesn't have much padding and it's not waterproof. So I'd rather put this in with the waterproofs in the bottom, uh, or sorry, in the top, so it's protected by them with the waterproofs. I just find that's a better way of doing it rather than letting it get wet through there. So that's my justification for that. I had to put a coat on because it's extremely cold up north despite it being June which is questionable so let's then move on to the straps I did film this earlier but I had somebody talking in the background so I'm going to redo it so straps wise then this is really important to make sure we get this right so there is normally four adjustment points on the straps you've got one two three which is on this side and four which is on here now the key thing I'd recommend is put it on your back first with clubs in it then fit it so many people I've seen before going into shops they put a bag on their back with it being empty and go it doesn't sit right well of course it doesn't sit right it hasn't got weight in it, it hasn't got clubs in it. it seems obvious now but a lot of people are like that so step one right strap left strap Key thing with this now, making sure these adjustments are right here. Does it feel snug on your shoulders? Yes or no? And then it's a case then of making the bag higher and that happens on those back straps there. So remember what I was saying earlier about it running through the middle of the back. When it's running through the middle of the back there, that now feels nice and balanced. It's in a stable position. And you'll notice that I can move around like so and the bag doesn't jiggle around too much. That's a really good sign. It's a sign it's nice and compact on the shoulders and everything's in the right spot. I promise you. If you have your bag balanced or your bag feels heavy at the moment, check that the straps are in the right place. Can't recommend that highly enough. Okay guys, so that's it. Our bag is completely set up and ready to go. I've got everything in pockets that I'm gonna find really easy to use and easy to find the stuff I need. I'm also not gonna do something that I've done many a time, which is when you keep balls and tees together, you find yourself reaching into the pocket and a tee goes down the back of your nail or a pitchfork. That's particularly painful. Keeping them apart, keeping the balls in the top, tees in the side, smacks with the tees, just so much easier. You're just gonna find that's not gonna happen. Your fingers then are gonna be intact. You're actually gonna enjoy your round rather than that, which is unpleasant. But, you know, leaving the big pocket relatively free to have your waterproofs in. You know, I've seen people trying to shove waterproofs in here. I mean, I've seen all sorts in fairness, but you, know, you get tees and things in here and that's your valuables, you know, next to your waterproof, easy to grab. Again, drink for me, having the snacks in next to drink just makes sense. I know again where it is. And the clubs in order makes a huge difference. You'll find it's also, it's gonna improve your pace of play. So many times you get people for a playing lesson, it's, where's, where's my five iron? And they're going through all the different bits and they can't find it. Next you know, it's under here. You know, it just looks better, it's smarter, they're in order, it's in the right place. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and you have found it useful, please do subscribe and like and comment on this video. It makes a huge difference to myself and Joe. We're really obviously trying to push things forward. So we really appreciate your support with that. If you can share it with friends as well, that sort of thing's amazing. But guys, thank you very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you very soon.